I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Today's topic is PRISM, laboratory experiment to determine the refractive index of the material of the PRISM. Apparatus required: a PRISM, a laser pen, an empty ballpoint refill, a chart, a protractor, and opaque screen and a meter scale take a chart draw the diagonals note on the angles at the left bottom and top right corners as 0 degree use a protractor draw the lines to represent the angles as shown here these angles will be used for angle of incidence. Now, use the protractor as shown here. Draw the lines to represent the angles from top to bottom. These angles will be used for angle of deviation. Take a prism, fix a empty ball point refill as a pointer. Now place this prism on the chart you have prepared. So the laser is placed along the diagonal from 0 to 0. The incident ray and normal, the angle between them is the angle of incidence. After passing through the prism, the ray bends and comes out as an emergent ray as shown here. The angle between the instant ray and the emergent ray will be the angle of deviation D. So this is the chart prepared. The intersecting point of the diagonals. On the left side, angle started from bottom to top, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. On the right hand side, the angles are started from top to bottom, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. So here the fractions are also noted. This is a prism on which an empty ball point refill is fixed as a pointer. The prism is placed at the center of the chart. It may be adjusted. This is support for the laser pen. Triple A dry cells are filled into the laser. So this one is giving a red color laser light. So the laser is placed from zero of the instant side towards the zero of the emergent side that is along the diagonal from zero to zero as shown here. So the laser is placed along the diagonal. Its position is fixed. Now place a screen at the emerging side just to identify the emerging laser so this is the experimental setup you can observe the dot at the zero of the emergent side from this laser the light ray is passing along the diagonal and you can identify it with this red dot at the emergence side. So now the prism position is adjusted for angle of incidence 30 degree. For angle of incidence 30 degree, see along the red line. So this is pointing along the red line. So the angle of incidence is 30 degree. 
for this angle of incidence 30 degree let us note down the angle of deviation so the angle of deviation here is it is it is 47 degrees so the angle of deviation is 47 degrees so note down the values in the table for angle of incidence 30 degree angle of deviation is 47 degree now adjust the position of the prism for 35 degree and for this 35 degree the angle of deviation is 41 degree For the angle of incidence 40 degree, the angle of deviation is 39. For I equal to 40, the angle of deviation is 39. For angle of incidence 45, the angle of deviation is 38. So, for 45, I equal to 45, D value is 38. For angle of incidence 50 degree, the angle of deviation is, it is again 39, yes. So for 50, it is 39. And for this uh, I value 55, D value, deviation value is 41. And now the prism position is adjusted for along the red line. So along the red line it is a 60 degree. So angle of incidence is a 60 degree. For the angle of incidence 60 degree, let us uh, note down the angle of deviation it is 43 so the angle of deviation is 43 for i value 60 d value is 43 now let us draw the id graph angle of incidence i on x axis and angle of deviation d on y axis the graph shape is shown here it is uh, in the shape of uh, v or u you can say at the bottom of this curve the value indicates 38 degree it is the angle of minimum deviation from the graph the angle of minimum deviation is 38 degree that is capital d is equal to 38 degree as the prism is an equilateral triangle, angle of the prism 
will be 60 degree. So, capital A is equal to 60 degree. The refractive index of the material of the prism is given by n is equal to sin of a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2. Now, the angle of prism capital A 60 degree and angle of deviation capital D is equal to 38 degree are substituted in the formula and on calculation we will get n is equal to 1.5. The prism is made up of glass. Therefore, the refractive index of glass is n equal to 1.5. Recapsulation point 1. Formula. The refractive index of the material of the prism is given by n equal to sin of a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2 where a is angle of the prism and d is angle of minimum deviation. Point 2. Apparatus used are a prism, a laser pen, an empty ballpoint refill, a chart, a protractor, an opaque screen and a meter scale. Point 3. So this is the table representing the angle of deviation corresponding to various angle of incidence. Point 4. The ID curve is of U shape. With increase of angle of incidence I, the angle of deviation D first decreases and then increases. Among various values of angle of deviations, the minimum value is called the angle of minimum deviation. It is denoted by capital D. From the graph, capital D equal to 38 degree. Point 5. The final result is the refractive index of glass is found to be n equal to 1.5. If you like the video, please give a thumb up. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Happy learning and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.